How is BMW going to make the next M2 even better than the old car? Well, it's not going to be easy. That car borrowed loads of parts from the old M3 and M4, so it was brilliant to drive. And it looked great, didn't it? But now there's a brand new 2 Series Coupe, so it's only a matter of time before BMW makes an all new M2. In fact, I've already seen photos of a prototype, and in this video I'll show you exclusive renderings of what the next M2 could look like. Stick around because I'll show you these images steadily throughout the video. Keep you interested. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Mike Watson, and you're watching CarWow. Buying a new car? Then head to CarWow, and my team will help you find your next car at a fair price. CarWow, your one-stop car buying comparison site. Some of the best driver's cars have the engine in the front and rear wheel drive. I'm talking about cars like the Mazda MX-5 and loads of BMW M cars. In fact, one of the best driver's cars in recent years was the last M2. It was fantastic to drive and don't forget about how good it looked. It was meaner than a regular 2 Series and because it was smaller than an M4, you really noticed the flared wheel arches and massive alloy wheels. But the next M2 is going to be based on the all new 2 Series Coupe, which looks very, very different. And I don't know just how much I like it, right? BMW hasn't given it the massive grills like you get on the 4 Series. I'll give them credit for that. But it looks like they've borrowed loads of bits from other cars and glued them together. Nothing really matches up in certain places, like the headlights, the grills, and the intakes in the bumper. It's all a bit kind of weirdish, dramatic, but yeah, a bit weird. But you can bet all this will change for the new M2 Coupe. Just check out these photos of an M2 prototype. They don't give much away, but you can tell the finished car will be lower, wider, and look much more aggressive than the standard coupe. And here's my first exclusive rendering showing what the finished M2 could look like. Yep, it's going to have a completely different front bumper from the new 2 Series coupe. It'll probably have some massive square intakes instead of the 2 Series' triangular ones. And you know, it'll have flared wheel arches and low suspension to make it look even angrier. In fact, this blocky design reminds me of the original E30 M3 from the 1980s. I think I like it. But what engine is it going to have? Now that's a big question. While the first M2 used a turbocharged 3.0-litre N55 straight-six engine that it borrowed from the old BMW M235i. But it had pistons from the F82 M4 and a few other mods that boosted power from 326 horsepower in the standard car to 370 horsepower in the proper M vehicle. This meant it would do 0 to 60 miles an hour in around 4.5 seconds if you got the manual version and 4.3 seconds if you went for the dual clutch automatic. But that's not all. There was also the M2 competition. That got a 411 horsepower version of the M4's 431 horsepower S55 twin turbo straight six engine. And it would do 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds if you got an automatic. Well, that's when launch control was behaving itself because sometimes it could be a bit temperamental. And if that wasn't enough, there was also the 450 horsepower M2 CS. That was even quicker. It could do 0 to 60 in 3.8 seconds. So this new M2 has some big shoes to fill. BMW could decide to give it a tuned version of the M240i's B58 engine. That's the same 3.0-litre turbocharged straight-six you get in an M440i and a Toyota Supra. It makes 374 horsepower, which is four horsepower more than the original M2 had. The M240i also has four-wheel drive as standard and a new automatic gearbox with a torque converter, which doesn't quite change as brutally as a dual-clutch system, but the launch control is a bit more reliable. As a result, the M440i can do 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Now the first M2 had about 44 horsepower more than the old M235i. So that means the new M2 should have around 415 horsepower, which is also about 40 horsepower more than today's hot two series, the M240i. But don't forget about the competition version. If BMW uses the same recipe as in the old car, the new M2 competition could get a detuned version of the M4's S58 engine with about 460 to 470 horsepower. But the M2 won't just borrow bits of the M4's engine, it'll copy its design too. Well, parts of it at least. I'm talking about the things you can see in this exclusive rendering, like the aerodynamic M-Star mirrors, new side skirts, and extra black trim. It'll also be a lot lower than the standard 2 Series Coupe, and it'll come with a range of new alloy wheels. Speaking of wheels, the new M2 could also end up being four-wheel drive. 
Yeah, really. After all, the new N240i comes with four-wheel drive only, unlike the old version, which you could get with rear or four-wheel drive. So there's a chance BMW could keep this gearbox and four-wheel drive system for the new M2. Or it could decide to use the same setup you get in the M3 and M4. These cars come with rear-wheel drive and a six-speed manual gearbox as standard, although not in the UK when we only get the M3 and M4 competitions, which are automatics. Yeah, okay. But they do get an ACE eight-speed torque converter automatic gearbox. Once again, not as brutal and as fast-changing as a dual clutch, but pretty slick with a reliable launch control system. But you can also buy four-wheel drive versions of the new M3 and M4. They're on the way soon and they come with an automatic gearbox. Now, if you want to see me actually drag race some BMW M cars, click on the pop-out banner up there, chosen one of my favorite M car races. Go on, there's also a link in the description. Anyway, what does this all mean for the new M2's performance? Well, the new car will probably be a few tenths quicker to 60 than the old model. So if BMW makes a manual version, it'll probably do 0 to 60 miles an hour in around 4.3 seconds. And the automatic will probably do around four seconds flat. This is almost as quick as the new M4, which does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.2 seconds if you get the manual and 3.9 seconds if you get the automatic competition version. Although I've timed this car from 0 to 60 and it was even quicker than that. Now, once again, there's a banner popping out in the top right hand corner of the screen where you can watch my full in-depth video review of that car and see how quick it really was from 0 to 60. Anyway, that's not all because four wheel drive models are even quicker. The M3 and M4 xDrive do 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. So any new forthcoming four wheel drive version of the new M2 competition should be able to do 0 to 60 in less than four seconds. In fact, I reckon it could be even quicker than the latest Audi RS3. That does 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds, so it's one of the quickest hot hatches ever. But how much is all this performance going to cost you? Well, before we get into that, I want to show you my final image of the new M2. This is what I think the back of the car will look like. Spy shots have already shown that it'll get four massive exhausts, just like on the M4. And I reckon it'll have a similar bumper and lip spoiler to that car as well. Anyway, let's get back to the price. Now BMW hasn't confirmed anything, but I reckon a new M2 competition will cost about 65,000 pounds. That's around 10,000 pounds less than an M4 competition and around 20,000 pounds more than an M240i. Rear wheel drive version M2s and versions with a manual gearbox will be a bit cheaper, but you probably won't get much change from £55,000. And that's more than an Audi RS3 or an AMG A45S costs. Now you can pick these up for around £52,000, but do you think the new BMW M2 will be worth the extra cash? Or maybe you reckon the new M240i is actually fast enough already? Why do you need anything else? Let me know what you think in the comments below. Now I've actually found a great deal on my favorite new BMW on sale right now. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'm gonna put a link up there, pop it down in the top right hand corner of the screen, click on that, you can see what the car is and what the amazing saving is through CarWow. Go check it out. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a like. Let me know some of the videos you'd like me to do in the comments below. Click on those windows there to watch some more videos. And if you click on that box there, you can go to the Car Wire Drag Race leaderboard to see how the BMW M2 competition, the current one, and the latest M3 and M4 have actually performed in drag races compared to other cars with timed over the standing quarter mile.